this is uh, another IUPAC nomenclature of organic compound and once again the first thing to notice is the functional group there's a double bond and this is what we call uh, kin so we need, to, we need to say how long is the, the hydrocarbon and the backbone is starting from here to there coming to this so one two three four five so I guess a five carbon and then the second carbon has a double bond, right? So how do I say? Five carbon means pentane, but now this one is pentane become pentene because this one is a double bond change. And which carbon? The second carbon, so two pentene. So that became uh, essentially the, the backbone of the molecule. What else do you have? Actually, I have other, nothing but hydrogen. So pretty much this is done. But however, there is a, what is called a cis and a, a trans isomer, also known as a, one of the kind of geometric isomer. When you have this double bond compound, and this one is, let's say, bigger and smaller, and then if it is uh, bigger and the smaller and you are essentially pointing on this same side and so this is what we call the cis isomer when you have this one pointing the bigger one pointing this uh, opposite and that what we call the trans and you see this methyl is bigger than the hydrogen and the ethyl is bigger than hydrogen so we are pointing the same direction and this is what we call the cis isomer so therefore I should say cis 2 pentene so cis 2 pentene the answer is in the case of C so this question is about the geometric isomer and geometric isomer in general when the bone rotations are restricted and then the, the, the attachment of the, the shape of the molecule uh, have a uh, different uh, conformation. And so now you are looking at it, the one easy one is when you have a double bond here, and, the, and then you should have you know, this side and that side is different, and then the, this side and the, let's say this side is different. And so then uh, you can have a geometric isomer, and we can call cis or trans or E and the Z scheme. And um, if you're looking at here, this is double, you are, you are seeing this all this double bond. And this is a chlorine, essentially you have a same chlorine, same chlorine, or same hydrogen. So they cannot be the answer, okay? Uh, because they, they have a same attachment, which is uh, if you have for example, here and here, the same, whichever it is. This one cannot have a geometrical isomer. Okay, uh, So even here, you have a double attachment, same identical attachment of the methyl. So this one is the answer. And so essentially, you have a C, C double bond with methyl attached to it, and the other side must be hydrogen. This one have a this way and this is what we call the trans or you can have this one with CH3 CH3 and the other side is H to complete so you have a two different geometric isomer and the answer for this one is E okay so in the previous problem we talk about geometric isomer and that can have a double bond Okay. But now we are talking about chiral centers and chiral isomers. Okay. Chiral isomers, which means a chiral means that something has to do with the light. And the, the light, and the, this is a, when this compound is chiral, then actually the polarized light, they rotate their orientation. So this is also, we call this optical isomers. Okay. So also known as optical isomer. So this is a same means, chiral means something has to do with the light. And the, the chiral carbon, you have a, first of all, you need to have a tetrahedral carbon, 
four of them all sigma. And so this means an SP, I guess you remember, SP3 hybridization. And then you should have a different attachment. So let, let, let's say this one, uh, whatever the, so whatever the compound that you use attach to carbon, they all must be different. Okay, so you let's try to find out what how many are there, and the people write a star sign over there. So if you're looking at this compound, this carbon right here is a chiral because it's attached to the chlorine, fluoride, methyl, and the rest of them is a very big one, right? So that's a one one kind. And the uh, the second one, easy one to easy one to find out is this one, right? So you have fluorine, this one right here. You have a fluorine, methyl, and one, two, three, four, five, six, hexyl, and this other one. So there are two easy one to find out. But last one to to this hidden here is this carbon right here. This carbon, all right, you're, you're seeing here, this carbon is, you have this uh, met ethyl, and then actually the Hydrogen was not shown, so this hydrogen, ethyl, and these other two uh, chlorofluoride and the fluorinated uh, branches, and these are the four are all different. So there are actually three chiral centers, so the answer for this one is D.